Welcome again. We're going to create a histogram using Excel based upon a summary table. And my name is Dr. Joe Snyder and we're going to start out in this worksheet of pulse rates and a summary over here in column J and K of those pulse rates. Uh, I've created videos on how to create summary tables both with a countif function and a pivot table so you can go take a look at those if you don't know how to create a summary uh, based on raw data. So what we're going to do though is take the summary table and create a chart from it. So what I'm going to do is I've highlighted the information including the headings, going over to insert, picking a column chart, just pick the first one in the list, and now we're going to place the chart where we said to put it. Now that's not a histogram yet, it's just a column chart. So what we want to do to create a histogram is to eliminate all those gaps uh, between the bars. So I'm going to do a right click on any of the bars, go down to Format Data Series, change the gap width to zero. That's a slider. Hit X to get back. Then I'm going to just click in a cell over here to uh, let you see the chart and nothing's highlighted. So we have a count based on the pulse rates from 40 to 49 all the way up to 90 to 100. Uh, so you can see the shape. That's the main reason for creating the histogram in the first place, is to see the shape of the distribution of your numbers, in this case pulse rates. So you're seeing 60 to 69 being the heaviest. This looks like a bell curve. If you were to place a curve on this chart on this histogram it would look similar to a normal curve or bell curve okay thank you for watching this video and don't forget to take a look at the rest of them as well